Hey guys, it's me, Christine Lee Smith, photographer and analog enthusiast. I'm here today to talk to you and unbox about the Cinestill temperature control system. And we're gonna go through the unboxing together and take a look at some of what this bad boy can do in helping us process our own negatives at home. All right, guys, so we're going to unpack this Cinestill brand temperature control system. Um, I have been processing my own negatives, um, gosh, for a very long time now, um, and recently back in the dark room over the past couple years. And um, I found a great place um, local to me where I can process my black and white, but there's no color lab that's near me. And when I looked into some options that were drivable or whatever, they were so expensive. I'm talking like $25 or more per hour and I still had to bring all my stuff. And I don't know about you, but for me, 25 bucks an hour just to process some negatives was a little bit high. So I thought I would be just forever living in the realm of black and white photography, which was just fine for me. Um, but I recently ran across this uh, Cinestill brand um, temperature control system um, and they offer an opportunity to be able to process your color negatives at home. Oh my gosh, this is amazing and unheard of and I, something I didn't think I would ever get to see. Um, so I was super excited when I got some extra Christmas cash. This is totally an unsponsored unboxing. Um, and I picked this bad boy up today from my local camera store. Actually, props to Freestyle, um, which you can order online and pick up um, at their Santa Fe Springs location the next day. So props to them for not making me pay $50 of shipping to get this item. Um, also, they had a great price on it, which was comparable to everybody else, and it was in stock, which if you are buying film, you know is not always easy to find in stock analog photography stuff. So anyway, um, the Cinestill control system is supposed to help you regulate temperatures in the development process, which are particularly crucial and difficult to get to when you're talking about color process because you were aiming for temperatures of around 100 degrees or even just above. So this little guy is supposed to help take the mystery and the difficulty out of that and I went ahead and purchased it so let's take a crack at it and see what they have. All right, so this is the box as I picked it up. I did buy the entire temperature control system kit, so I'll be showing you the other pieces that came alongside of it, but they are not all in the same box, so we're going to start here with just the temperature control system um, itself. Um, as you can see, it's clearly labeled what it is, what it's supposed to do. You should know you have the right product. This is the other side of the box. Um, when purchasing it, it's pretty clear. So we're going to go ahead and pop this bad boy open right now. Do a little tabby tab. Slide that open. There's some nice foam packaging because if you haven't seen what this thing looks like online yet, um, it looks like a giant cooking device called a sous vide. Um, which my friends have and it's wonderful. I highly recommend one. Um, but it's, it, it's, it's a sous vide. That's what this is. No qualms about it. It's just a cooking device, but labeled for photographic purposes. Plus, I uh, I wouldn't use them for cross purposes because, you know, chemicals, death, all that kind of stuff we want to avoid. Um, it comes with this little bottle holder right on the outside of the foam. And then this little foam guy. I'm going to crack that open. And uh, this is what is inside of the box, right? When you open it, you have, again, your bottle holder. We can see our power plug right here, and then the primary device is right here with our nice little instruction manual right here. So let's go ahead and open this further, take it out of the molded foam. It's well protected. I feel confident that even if it's been a little bit banged around, that it's still in good working condition. No scratches, no anything like this. Um, and this is the system. All right, one thing I'm noticing as I'm taking it out of the box and giving it a closer inspection is that this screen area is a little bit dirty, but it looks like there is a clear film protective layer on there. If I keep peeling away, I'm confident that that will come off and give me a perfectly clean and clear screen. So there's just basically two buttons here, your power button and then your settings button. And then there's a temperature control knob just beneath that rotates back and forth. 
on the back here, you have your clip, boop, boop, which attaches to your tub device for regulating the temperature. And then this is the mechanism down here at the bottom that circulates the water and heats the water. Um, as you can see, it is a three prong cord. Go ahead and take that all the way out. It is a three prong cord to plug in, so you will have to be buying some electricity while you do this water intensive development process. Just a heads up. That's weird, but that's cool because it means there's no batteries. I guess that will have its own advantages and disadvantages, just like everything in life. So anyway, this is what the full device looks like. As you can see, it's about like the length of my arm, give or take for size. The head is about palm size to my hand. So it's a relatively small device. And let me go ahead and show you what the rest of the Cinestill temperature control system kit came with. So let's slide this out of the way. So everything else came um, packaged in this Sterilite regular box. Um, so everything else came packaged in this Sterilite box. So you have four extra items that come along with a temperature control device. Um, so this tub, which they're proposing we use um, as the bath for our processing area. It also came with this Cinestill pitcher. And so let's go ahead and pull this out of the packaging. I've been told these are marked specifically for their chemical processes. So let's go ahead and see if that is. It does have their branded logo. I know it's a little bit hard to see, but right here on the front. And it is um, marked in both uh, fluid ounces and milliliters. And it does show actually their CD41 or their powder process. So you know exactly how much water to put in depending on if you're using their liquid version or their powdered version of their process chemical. So that is a nice little handy feature that came in the kit. The other two remaining items, so tub, pitcher, and then two of these guys. These guys are what you can store your mixed chemicals in. Um, I don't know off the top of my head, but I do know that their chemicals are reusable. I just don't remember how many rolls. I think it's something like 24, but we'll check on that. Um, so once you have your chemicals mixed, then um, you get to um, be able to store them in these light, tight, and compressive containers. So let's see how that works here. Let me go ahead and take off the lid, screw that open. Excellent. So that way, if you have less chemical, you can compress it so there's less air in there. I don't see a locking mechanism for the compression, but we'll go ahead and investigate that further when we do our review of this process. So, but for today, it's just an unboxing to show you guys what is in the Cinestill temperature control system kit. So again, this is the full kit. Um, this retails for about 140 bucks plus shipping, depending on where you get it. If you buy it from cinestillfilm.com, you are gonna pay about, from what I found to the West Coast, about $35 or more in shipping. Um, but when I bought it from my local retailer, um, I had free pickup. So I just had to drive a few miles and I was able to pick it up um, the next day. So again, the kit comes with these extra four pieces, the two um, containers, the pitcher, and then the tub, which you could pick up at Target. You could use an, any old container. Um, you could use amber bottles or other photographic containers, which I'm assuming you could get probably a little bit cheaper, probably a couple bucks. But the handy dandy thing is now um, that I have all these pieces, it was in one fail swoop. Um, if you wanna buy the temperature system piece alone, this guy. Um, this guy is about 100 bucks from Cinestill.com, but again, I was able to find it through my local retailer and pick it up next day. No shipping cost. Um, so anyway, so you can buy this alone, buy it with the kit. Um, they also have Cinestillfilm.com also has other versions of kits, um, some that come with other things and not. Um, so you can build up and pick up all the supplies you need in one fell swoop or just piecemeal it if you already have some of the devices you need like I do. Um, I have my own Patterson kit 
uh, tank and four by five carrier. So I will be able to use those two items with this color process kit. So anyway, th thanks for watching uh, today's unboxing of the Cinestill temperature control system. If this video was helpful, go ahead and give it a good thumbs up. And if you want more of these videos in your life, who doesn't hit subscribe. And of course, if you want to support to make sure more of these things happen, more reviews, more unboxings, more how to's, go Go ahead and visit me on patreon.com and uh, for a dollar a month you are supporting more of this awesomeness coming your way. So any questions about the kit, pop them in the comments below and thanks again for watching. I can't wait to see you next time.